Hi Cancer, this is your love reading for the month of March. <clears throat> for those of you that are new to my channel, hello. Um, all of these readings are timeless, so whenever you find this reading, it's for you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. Whew, my kids made a damn mess. I was cleaning up all crazy and sweating and stuff because the energy was all clustered around here and I'm like I cannot do a reading with this clustery energy so good news I got a tripod Woo! so I'm not sure I like it as much as my other one though so I might have to wait and I get that one back this is a different one hair and my lipstick um so shout out to my dad David Lopez senior who bought me this tripod um, if you don't know by now, I'm a total daddy's girl. So I called him and said, hey, can you go to mom's and pick up my tripod and send it back to me because I really like this one. I can't find the exact same one. And he's like, oh, no, I'll, I'll get you another one. And I'm like, but I like that one. So he got one and he thought it was the exact same one. It looks very similar, but it's not the exact same one, but it works. So I still, I'm just in love with that one. Like this one, I don't know. I like it. It's just, it it kind of has a downward angle and I can't, like my other tripod was like here, you know, straight. And this one, like it kind of points down a little bit and I can't get it to straight. But anyways, it, it'll make, it'll do. So we're going to do your love reading. And then for those of you that are Patreon, um, or if you'd like to join me on Patreon, I will be doing your sexual energy read right after this. And it's going to be fun. So stay tuned if you like sexual energy reads. All right. So let's dive right in. One second. Okay. Huh. Anyways. All right. So I have my sacred bee tarot here. Doo, 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 doo. Sacred bee. Um, my love oracle. Do, 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 do. Um, romance angels and dragon tarot recently discovered some stuff about my origins my starseed origins and let's just say there's a heavy dragon influence so we're going to be using dragon tarot from now on um, I have the heal yourself cards for your healing um, message Let's dive right in. We are going to start with, um, let's start with the Sacred Bee Tarot. Is this? Hmm. I hope that doesn't jiggle too much. I have the tripod on there. It seems to be still wiggling the camera. It's not good. My other one didn't move at all, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have to lock it. Hold on. Cause this one does have a lock. Did I get it? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Tricky little thing. Okay. All right, reading now for cancer. This is your love reading. Uh, like I said, this reading is timeless. For so, whenever you find it, it's for you. And believe me, you found me for a reason. Not everybody finds this channel. If you're a past subscriber, welcome back. All right, it's a little hot in here. I'm gonna have to open a window. Okay, reading out for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know for the month of March about their love life? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's get it on. Oh, excuse me. What you got going on, Cancer? I'm going to lay out four of these cards. Six of Wands. So, usually Six of Wands is a public declaration of love from your partner. Wow, we have a lot of sixes. Six of Discs, success. You got victory and success. Back to back. Okay, this might be too low. We got everything jiggling up in front here. <laughs> we might have to lower this camera a bit or make it closer to me. Hold on. <laughs> the girls are out. <laughs> oh my God. 
this camera. All right. Is that a little better? Still jiggling. <laughs> the male subscribers are like, yes! Camera back further. <laughs> Shit. Oh. I did not want you subscribing to me for the wrong reasons. Let's just say that, okay? Oh, it's hot up in here. I'm going to open this window. Give me a sec. All right. We got two of swords piece. So we have a lot of sixes. Six represents spirituality and um, family core issues. So, you know, this person... There's a very strong energy of this person wanting to take the next step with you. And by the next step, I mean like have a family with you, okay? Because six is, like I said, it's the card. It, sorry, it's the number of family. Two of swords, peace. Um, see, here's the six. Six of wands. So this card usually represents some kind of a public declaration of love. As in, you know, stating to the public that they are yours, that you are theirs. I mean, like they're literally wanting to stake their claim on you. Because <laughs> um, it usually, if it's a regular reading, it would be like um, some kind of public recognition. So this is public recognition and love. Okay, we got six of discs, success. So this is a very balanced give or take in the relationship. So you guys should be having a lot of balance in your relationship right now at this point. Um, we have two of swords. So this is usually being stuck between two decisions. We'll pull some more cards and see what that relates to. We also have the high priestess. So the high priestess represents your intuition, um, things like that. I feel like someone needs to use their intuition to make some kind of a decision because it came out right next to two of swords. Okay. There's a lot of like crossing things. So you might be at a crossroads in your relationship trying to decide. So when this person, I feel like when this person comes forward and they want to take the next step with you, basically it's up to you. You're going to have to make up your mind whether or not you're going to want to take the next step with this person. Because look, we have a cross here. We have a cross here. X marks the spot. Again, there's, there's, I've been channeling this too. I know a lot of readers have there is, this is an X, but it's also two keys crossing. We got the two of swords. Again, they're crossing each other. So there's definitely a point of like an intersection of crossroads. It could be crossing timelines. And then we have the high priestess here who represents, she knows what to do. She's got all of the info, you know, inside. She's the keeper of the secrets. She's also the keeper of the keys. There's the keys. So again, the keys keep coming up. That's going to be important somehow. I mean, they call the high priestess literally the keeper of the keys. This is also divine feminine energy. So we might be reading right now for divine feminine because the high priestess represents the divine feminine energy. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should open this window. I'm not that hot anymore, so... I am so thirsty. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like gulp and swallow on this. But I'm thirsty. Okay, so let's pull some more tarot. We'll do two more from here. And then we'll do some uh, love oracle. See if we need some more answers. Ready now for cancer. What does cancer need to know? Two cards for cancer, please. Two cards for cancer. One. Root of the powers of air. This is Ace of Swords. So see, there's definitely, there's a lot of swords here. So for some of you, I feel like this, when this public declaration of love comes, there's going to be a whole lot of communication. There's going to be a lot of things clarified about your relationship. Queen of Discs. This is Queen of Pentacles. So yes, I, I feel like we're definitely reading for a Divine Feminine here. <laughs> we have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. And let me see what I'm getting from this card. 
So yes, this is definitely a divine feminine. I'm going to go ahead and describe characteristics. So this would be a, a divine feminine. That way, if, if this is, you know, a divine masculine is watching this for your divine feminine. So this would be a divine feminine who literally, um, she's very tuned into her emotions. Um, she has a very seductive, like, personality. Very, like, scorpionic energy. Um... She would be someone who literally like came from a really hard place and she literally got herself out of a hard place and she did it all by herself. And I can tell this energy from the lotus flower that you see there's a lotus flower here, there's a lotus flower here. I mean the lotus, if you know anything about the lotus flower, the lotus flower grows from like murky swampy waters. So this would be a divine feminine who literally grew from like muck. She had to literally pull herself out of a really hard situation. She may have had a really hard life, but yet when she blossomed, oh my God, it was like that lotus flower, like, right? Like pure beauty. I mean, you would look at her now and you would never be able to tell that she was in a hard spot ever in her life because she just glows. She has a really strong star shine. <laughs> I don't even know what that word means, but I've been using it a lot lately. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a lot of flowers here. So there's very strong Venus energy. We have the Lotus flower also on this card. So again, and there's the Divine Feminine here again. And she's crying in this card and also in this card. You probably can't see it, but there's a little tear coming down here. Can you see that? And it looks like in this card she's crying. So she is she has has had a painful existence up until now. And I feel like the only reason she doesn't have a painful existence now is because she had a spiritual awakening and it sort of shifted her energy field. And she basically used those painful things in her past to sort of grow like the lotus flower. So she didn't let it drag her down like a lot of people do. Instead, she used it to her advantage. Okay? She used her intuition to basically get where she is now. Who lovely energy. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's do some... This Divine Feminine too, she might have tattoos, just so you know, because there is a tattoo on her on this Divine Feminine's arm. And the energy coming across is very um, Venusian, so Venetian, however you say it, um, very Aphrodite, goddess-like. So take that out, it resonates. Okay, um, we are going to do some Love Oracle. And then we'll do some Romance Angels and some Dragon Tarot. Okay, what do we need? What do we need to know for Cancer's reading? Yes, see, I told you this Divine Feminine, it was just 13, 30, 31 on my phone. So 13 and then 31. So inverted 13 and then 13, 33. So 333. Three, three number of a dis, an ascended master i told you so this divine feminine she she's probably um is an ascended master now or she has been in her past timeline you know timelines are fluid so like when i say now like you know i mean basically it's what i'm saying is the energy is of an ascended master is what i'm saying but if you look at this card this card means change so literally, again, here comes the energy of transformation, the cocoon, and then the butterfly, right? The cocoon, the chrysalis is what I meant to say. <laughs> Cocoons are for moths. She's a butterfly. She ain't no, she ain't no caterpillar. Hold on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and diamond cards. All right, we got social media. That one fell. We have another flower on this. So she might work in a flower shop or she might like flowers. Maybe she has a lot of plants around her house, a lot of flowers. I am releasing so much right now. I just like, ugh, I don't know, burped and it tasted gross. 
<laughs> social media. So either you're watching her on social media or maybe she, I doubt she watches you. If she's in this like queen energy and she's just sort of doing her own thing, <laughs> like I feel like she is, she's probably not watching you. She could be, but like I said, I doubt it. I feel like more so this is you watching her. Liquid courage. Yeah. So <laughs> if this is for a divine masculine, I feel like her energy may be very intimidating to you. And so maybe you need this liquid courage to approach her. That's okay. We got home. So either you or her, I feel like this might be the divine masculine right now reading that I'm talking, the divine masculine I'm talking to. So I feel like at this point you've bought a home or you've considered buying a home so that you can build this life with your divine feminine. Okay. And I don't see her being opposed to, you know, starting a life with you. But, you know, it's funny. Okay, so we got social media, someone watching, someone stalking, not in a bad way, but definitely watching, watching social media. Maybe you're watching your divine feminine. We have liquid courage. So I feel like at some point you are going to want to approach her. Um, maybe you need some liquid courage. I don't know. It, it, this is definitely not this divine feminine's energy because if she's in this queen of discs energy, and this high priestess energy, um, you know, she <laughs> she's definitely not going to need any liquid courage. She knows who she is, all right? But maybe that's why she's so intimidating to you. She could have just bought a home, too. And that, that might be what is making these divine masculines so uncomfortable because she's independent. She just bought a house. And, you know, maybe the divine masculine is thinking, you know, maybe she doesn't really need me in her life. She just... <laughs> She wants it. Does she need me? And again, that's the energy of most of the divine feminines right now. A lot of us are, you know, in our empress modes. You know, we have built our own empires. Um, you know, we, a lot of us are single moms taking care of our kids by ourselves. And so it's, you know, I can understand why you would be intimidated. All right. So let's do some romance angels. But, I mean, that's what happens when you are this um, lotus flower stuck in the muck. You either stay in the fucking mud or you grow, right? I don't know anyone that wants to stay in the mud. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Let's get four of these. Ooh, what is happening here? Okay, we got forgiving and learning as, oh shit, that one flew, as you, <laughs> so much bending over today. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Um, so I feel like either you or your partner are going to be taking a trip. Honestly, though, it feels like it feels like maybe your divine feminine is going to go on a trip. Yeah, I think it's definitely her. Hold on, can we get one more card for cancer, please? And honestly, I don't, I don't think that you like it. I would be careful. Okay, so we have this. It says enjoy, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. But honestly. I feel like your divine feminine is probably going on a trip and you're doing this watching her on social media, living her best life. <laughs> That's just the energy coming out. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, excuse me. So both of you right now are definitely doing some past life clearing, some ancestral trauma he healing, some family healing. We have let go of control issues, Cancer. That's why I said I feel like you're not liking that your Divine Feminine is, you know, maybe she's on a trip somewhere and you're not too keen on it. But it says let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You have to be careful because if you don't let go of these control issues, something in the near future that's coming up is this new love. It says a new person has stirred romantic feelings. So I feel like if you're not cautious and you, you are in this state of like jealousy or trying to control your beloved, then 
she might just, you know, decide it's not worth it. And then you're going to be looking for a new love. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's just, I can feel a lot of jealousy coming from um, the divine masculine side of this relationship. It's the only reason I'm saying that. Okay, let's do some dragon tarot. Let's throw some dragon tarot on it. Yeah, je jealousy has like a specific type energy field, and this it definitely feels like jealousy. So, and then plus we got the let go of control issues. So, definitely some cards confirming it. All right, can we get three more cards for Cancer, please? Let's finish off Cancer's reading for March, and we'll do your spirit message. Knight of Pentacles. I'm not even sure what the hell this one means. Earth sign energy. Page of Cups. So again, whoa. Again, we got this energy of watching and being curious. Honestly, the Knight of Pentacles too feels like a watching energy. I feel like you need to spend some more time on... Um, Another card flew out. Hold on. I'm going to take it. The Emperor. We'll put that aside. I don't know if we're going to take it yet. Page of Cups. There is also a very heavy element of surprise coming from the Page of Cups. It's almost like this person wasn't expecting you to feel like this. So if this is a Divine Masculine I'm reading for, I feel like you haven't told your beloved how you feel. So don't be surprised when you pop this question on her. Like if you're planning on proposing to her, don't be surprised if she's not completely taken by surprise. Because there's this energy of like not really <laughs> expecting this. Like maybe she didn't think you had that deep of feelings. I feel like you did a lot of watching and... and so maybe this person doesn't really know the extent of how deep your feelings. I think, I feel like they feel like it's more casual than it really was. There's definitely a strong bond though. Okay, so we have Knight of Pentacles. I'm not really sure what that means, so I'm actually going to read that. Um, where is the booklet for the Dragon Tarot? Hold on one second. Okay, so I was reading about the Knight of Pentacles and it says... The Knight of Pentacles is useful, reliable, patient, persistent, and loyal. Sounds very, like I said, earth sign energy, very Taurus energy. Cautious by nature, again, Taurus energy, <laughs> preferring evolution to revolution, but has courage enough when it is called for. So again, <laughs> here's where that liquid courage is going to come in, my Cancer Divine Masculines. You have courage enough when you know that it is worth it. So the question is, do you think this divine feminine is worth it? Well, do you? All right. So here is that page of cups energy, this sort of energy of um, there's a very childlike quality with the, with the pages that comes out and especially with the page of cups. So someone who's very um, sort of naive and sort of in has this energy of like being in awe about everything in life and again I feel like if you do decide to pop the question that <laughs> your divine feminine is going to be very shocked I mean look at her face in this picture looking at this dragon popping out of this cup it's almost like she was this like not expecting <laughs> any of that but it's almost like I don't know her face is very stoic though you can tell that she's very surprised so she might have deeper emotions that she lets on too. So take that how it resonates. So it's this energy of someone who has very deep waters, but yet, you know, you wouldn't guess it because she doesn't show a lot of her emotions. So it seems very like still waters runs deep type energy, if that makes sense. Okay, so the last two cards we got are the lovers and the emperor. So... The bond is very strong. We have the lovers, okay, which shows that this is a very, very strong soul bond. 
Um, again, the lovers can have to do with the choice in love. So if you're making that choice, just know that your divine feminine might be also making a choice in regards to love, okay? I don't know how that's going to play into, but the choice came up twice with the two of swords. And, you know, the lovers is usually represents a choice in love. But it could just be whether the choice, the choice is whether or not to say yes to your proposal. I don't know. But my word of advice, the Emperor card fell out, but it didn't, it, I didn't know if it was going to be a part of this reading. So it was just kind of a sideline card. But usually when a sideline card comes out, it's for a reason. Now I feel like Cancer, this might not be your normal, usual energy, <laughs> right? Um, you might not always be in your Emperor energy, but if you're going to want to win this Divine Feminine over, you're going to need to be in this energy. <laughs> you're going to have to pick up your big boy pants and you're going to have to take it like a king. You're going to have to step up. You're going to have to like grab your big balls <laughs> and roll with them because this Divine Feminine, okay, let's just do a recap. This Divine Feminine, okay, is very very worth the risk okay she came out as queen of disc priestess you know it's all all of her goddess energy coming from the lotus flower and she does have strong feelings for you as well so don't let your jealousy get in the way my advice for you is don't let your jealousy get in the way um Take that how it resonates. <laughs> Let go of control issues, like Spirit said. And hopefully you'll be on your way to this honeymoon together instead of her, you know, honeymooning alone um, somewhere on spring break and you watching her on social media, right? <laughs> All right, that's the reading. That's the reading for y'all. All right, we're going to do your spirit message and we're going to call this a reading for you, Cancer. Take my advice. Or don't. I mean, you, you can always do what you want, of course. You know what I'm saying? But I'm reading the energy. And, you know, it's this it, this reading must be for someone because I read generally the strongest collective energy. So it's got to be for a lot of cancers for it to pop out like this. Um, I don't want to see you lonely. I am so thirsty. I need some more water. I feel so dehydrated right now. All right, what is the last... Um, Spirit message for cancer and then we'll do your sexual energy read the sexual energy read is going to be posted to my patreon and just so you know it, it is going to be x x rated okay the deck i'm using is the sexual um sexual tarot of sexual magic and then also my filthy fantasies deck which is just it's called twin flame filthy fantasies and it's for twin flames, obviously, but it's just filthy fantasies. <laughs> That's all it is. So it's very racy. If you wanted confirmation, there's your confirmation, Cancer. <laughs> 14, it says soulmate. Add it up, and it um, is the number five. Number five is the number of change. So, you know, there could be a big change coming up in your relationship. It, it could be that you guys will get engaged. It could be that you guys buy a house together. I don't know. That's going to, all of that's going to play out different for everyone, but there is a very strong soul connection. Now people say soulmates are usually different than twin flames or twin souls, but to some people, you know, they use that word interchangeably. You could be saying, you know, this is your twin soul, but you know, it comes out as soulmates, you know, soul connections our soul connections so you know whatever labels are not important so there's that <laughs> that's how we're gonna end your reading cancer i love you guys so much if you want to join me on patreon then you know you can check out your sexual energy read oh my god it's gonna get it's gonna get it's gonna get racy thank you for all your likes your shares your subscriptions i love you guys so much uh, check out my Etsy shop. It's always in the description box below. If you click that little down arrow, it kind of looks like a little um, big mouth eats big number symbol. <laughs> you ever have that in school? Big mouth eats big number. It's like a little alligator. 
Okay. But anyways, click that. My description box got all my prices. If you want to book a reading with me, Cancer. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's been crazy. All of my kids were sick. They all had like influenza. All of them. And, you know, my little baby's still sick. So it's been, whew, it has been crazy. It is hard enough for a mom to take care of babies, but then just taking care of them alone while they're all sick is, I don't know. <laughs> Some days I don't know how I do it. Um, so that's, you know, why I've been MIA for a minute. So they all had fevers, coughs, anything else. Please check out my son's channel. He works really hard and he's awesome. He's awesome like his mommy. He is the only channel linked, you know, in the description box below my channel. Um, if you guys want to tip me, oh, I have a new, I have a new PayPal. It's a business PayPal. So it's under Chakra Money Tarot. That's linked below. And I also have um, a new way for you guys to tip me and that's Cash App. And that is also the little money symbol and Chakra Money Tarot. That's right. I made it simple, more simple for you guys to tip me. I appreciate every single one of you that support me because like I said, this is my only job. I do this for y'all. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs>